Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Eduardo Culbo, and this is This Week in News. <laughs> Can you guess the answer to these five news questions of the week? Okay. Again, if you would like to play along on your phone, please don't forget to follow the link in the YouTube description and also hit the like and subscribe. Okay, let's get started. This week, former Chief of Staff Mark Meadows turned over what to the special committee investigating the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? Do you know? This week, Mark Meadows turned over this PowerPoint presentation, which he had on January 5th, full of recommendations for Trump to help him pursue the lie that the election was fraudulent. This weekend was a deadly weekend with tornadoes hitting approximately how many states? Can you guess? This week, tornadoes touched down on five states, including Kentucky, which was the hardest hit. Help from the federal government is already on its way. Okay, we're going to do a hard pivot here. But this week, conservative commentator Classical Abbey tried to slut shame Madonna for looking all sorts of sexy at 63, comparing her to Nancy Reagan. But the internet was not having it. And they came out in defense for Madonna and also reminding her that Nancy Reagan used to be known for what? Do you know? This week, the internet reminded everybody that according to Kitty Kelly's biography of Nancy Reagan, Nancy Reagan used to be known as the blowjob queen of Hollywood, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a blowjob queen. What was wrong was not standing up and speaking out about the AIDS epidemic happening in America back in the 80s, while Madonna always stood up. So, hey Madonna! And in more pop culture news, this week, which pop star hottie 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 got her bachelor's in health administration? Do you know? The answer is Megan D. Stallion. That's right, Megan D. Stallion graduated from college this weekend in a bachelor's of science with a focus on health administration. So congratulations, Megan. All right, and in some gay news, this week, a museum in Switzerland is showcasing same-sex attraction in approximately how many species? Can you guess? This week, a museum in Switzerland is showcasing same-sex attraction in over 1,500 different species, including lions, rams, and dolphins. So hey, being gay is okay. All right, that about wraps it up. I hope you got some of these answers right. My name is Eduardo Cubo. Love you for watching and see you next week.